Hello, 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 everyone, lovely viewers of Powerline TV. This is your regular Wednesday life transforming show. I know you are surprised. Don't worry. <laughs> it's me here in the seat, and it's a special, special event. Reverend Chivafe Emmanuel is my name, sitting in for your regular host, Mama Rita, who today is a special, special day for her, and we are going to hear exactly what this is all about. And I know all across the European continent, America, all of the African regions, across Ghana, you have been expectant for this day. Exodus 20, verse 12, the fifth commandment, a commandment of grace, talks about we honoring our father and our mother so our days will be long in the land which the Lord our God is going to be giving to us. So for me, it's a very special occasion for us to receive that anointing, that grace, as we honor the father and the mother. Having said this, it introduces and sets everything clear why we are here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are celebrating the 37th wedding anniversary celebration of our father, the Apostle General, and Mama Rita, your regular host, whose evenings on Wednesdays have been dedicated to you, your family, and your entire, entire, entire life and desires. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the celebrants of the moment, the father and the mother, Mama Rita, Apostle General here in our studios. You are welcome. Thank you. Mommy, how does it feel? We, we <laughs> change. Uh, <laughs> levels really have changed levels really have changed ladies and gentlemen don't be surprised don't be surprised this is family life series with mama rita and we are honored we are honored really to have the apostle general here in studios with us yeah oh let me hear you from your homes wherever you are and it's amazing as we celebrate 37 years of God's blessings, legacies that have been built, lives that have been transformed, families that have been raised, nurtured, and a nation that is receiving from their bosom what the Lord has blessed them with and they have been selfless. Mommy, 37 years. It's Looking a long back, time, oh. it's, it's long. <laughs> it's, it's longer than I am. <laughs> Yeah, it's longer. It's longer wow. than I am. <laughs> 37 years. 6th September, yeah. 1986. Yeah. Looking back, how would you describe this journey in few words? Looking back, I would say that I haven't made a mistake mm. at all. And I, I, I don't regret saying yes to that lanky, hungry... Uh, <laughs> uh, no bicycle, <laughs> no room, no bed, no fridge, no TV. Uh, what people are looking for today. Wow. They didn't have any of them. But wow. all I knew was that he was going somewhere. Mm. All I knew was that um, he had the vision. All I knew was that he had the future. All I knew was that um, God's calling was upon his life. Mm. I mean, I looked at him. I looked at tomorrow and yeah. I didn't look as if September 1986, mm. I didn't look at that mm. period. And mm. looking back, I think that I made the best choice. I haven't regretted at wow. all. Wow, wow. Mm. Well, I know you have lots of questions for mommy and daddy. I know you have your love messages, well-wish messages. Some of you, almost everyone listening tonight, I'm very confident, have had an encounter with daddy and mommy and how their life, their union has been a blessing to you. You want to send through these testimonies. You want to send through um, your well wishes. You, at some point, we are going to open the phone line, so get ready and glued to your telephone sets. Uh, the telephone numbers are on your screen, plus 233-200-515253, plus 233-200-515253. In the meantime, you can send your messages through WhatsApp or use the hashtag across social media, Ask Mama Rita, A-S-K-M-A-M-A-R-I-T-A. -A -A. Um, we'll be showing them on the screens whilst we read some as well. So please, this is our day of celebrating the father and the mother. If you have experienced it, you have encountered it, you want to share, let the world know who and what you have been blessed with. 
personally, I don't think I will even be in this seat. I don't think I will be able to call myself a career person. I don't think I will have the title reverend to my name or even be in the capacity and have the confidence to even speak to you like I'm doing tonight. But for the encounter I had with this couple, and this was in 1997, when my father heard his voice on radio and carried the entire family. He said he was tired with idol worship. He has finally heard a voice that he hasn't heard in his life ever. And this was on Joy FM. He followed, we went there, and from that day, we were struggling, I was checked into, the church received us, granted me scholarship from primary through GSS, through SHS senior high, through the university. So listen, I, I can't tell my story without thanking God for this union that started on the 6th of September, 1986. If you are not ready, I can talk the whole of that <laughs> one hour and a half. But uh, whilst we wait for your messages, I know a lot of them have come in already. Mommy, you said in your introductory remarks that you don't regret at all. We've heard, especially during your 60th celebration, also during Daddy's 60th celebration, the story, the journey, um, how you came through, the challenges and all the successes that uh, we are celebrating today. Someone sent a message in the afternoon wanting me to ask you, was there ever a point in the journey, probably maybe in the introductory stage, wherever, that you had double thoughts that could things have been different for me? Should I have waited? Was there any instance? Before I answer you, I want to say a happy 17th wedding anniversary to Reverend Thomas Brew and oh. Mama Ama, our senior pastors of um, Connecticut, was the Victory Center, Victory Center, Center. Uh, Reverend and Pastor Mrs. Hey, it's Ama Brew. I think she's also a Reverend. I'm not too sure. Uh, Ama Brew, we want to wish you well. We say that the God that has brought us this far, celebrating 37 years today, may that same God be with you. May your children bring you honor. Amen. May your children never bring you shame. Amen. May the, your children serve your God. Amen. What God has made out of my children, mm. may the Lord do the same thing for you. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord raise pastors and ministers and deacons in your home. Amen. Connecticut, get ready. Jesus. Your pastor and your pastor's wife mm. would also be celebrating 37 years Amen. and beyond. Wow. We wish you well. Happy anniversary, Anybody Reverend Thomas. Anybody who's celebrating your mm. wedding anniversary today, mm. uh, phone in and then let's celebrate together. Awesome. We'll pray with you. Awesome. Awesome. The Father has spoken and I know you are eager to phone in so we join this celebration. Mommy. So Reverend Chief Ape, you asked me, was there ever a point of a doubt, point within the 37 an years? An instant of uncertainty. That I regretted or something or well, wasn't I thought sure. maybe I should have held on, I okay. should have slowed down. Okay. So number one, when my husband came proposing mm. and told me, oh, he loved, no, he didn't say he loved me. <laughs> he wanted to marry we'll, me. We'll come to that. Too. His head from God <laughs> and all that. The first person I spoke to was my dad. Okay. So my dad asked me to give him three days. He came back after three days and said, um, his head from God, so I should go ahead. I was also praying and I had this peace mm. in my spirit mm. that God was leading me on. Okay. In those days, I had a group of friends we used to call ourselves the Six Sisters. All right. Everybody came with their confirmations that the thing that God was leading me mm. on. Anytime the going became tough, I mean, every relationship goes through its ups and downs. Anytime the relationship became tough, I just looked back. I don't think my, my dad made a mistake by saying that he heard from God. Mm. 
I also heard from God and I had such peace in my spirit and I knew God was leading me on. Um, the six sisters who all said they heard from God and the number of people who said, oh, um, they've seen our future, they've mm -hmm. had dreams, all that. I knew that none of them could ever make a mistake. Wow. So if God can't make a mistake, then I can never look back. There okay. was no turning, turning okay. back or You've looking back. You've always said it's a one ticket, one no, way it's, ticket. It's, it's a one way <laughs> ticket. I knew that it's a matter of time. I mm. mean, we went through times where we didn't have food. We went through times where I was pregnant and we didn't know where the next hospital bill was going to come from. I mean, the mm. money was going to come from. But we've always learn to look up to God mm. and anytime we looked up to God God came through for us and honestly there was no there was no second that I ever regretted wow and there was no second there was no time that I looked back and said oh I rushed into it maybe even if he was the one I should have waited some yes. six months or I should have waited some one year no I never I never wow. ever thought about that. That was a state of uncertainty. There was well, no turning back. Actually, all the questions that will be coming to you tonight are questions people sent. Wow. That they have been waiting to ask. Wow. So we'll be coming to that. Ladies and gentlemen, like we promised you, today is going to be an interesting session with the father and the mother. We are saying that what exactly it is that you haven't seen or beyond what you see, what is there for us to be told. We have some messages that have started coming in already. Mm. This one is coming from Shelly Ama. Shelly Ama says, congratulations, daddy and mommy, mm. on your 37th wedding anniversary. And she adds, plenty hearts. Yes. I don't know how to communicate that in English. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. We give you a hug too. Great. And we Posh say we love you. Awesome. Poshia Fiabu also says happy anniversary to the perfect examples there ever has been mm. in my life. Wow. Has hey, she's created her own hashtag. Wow. Said, hashtag AG Rita. We <laughs> love you so much. <laughs> Please, I guess we'll adopt this hashtag for the next one year. Hashtag AG Rita. <laughs> From Emmanuel, Dr. Dr. Emmanuel Sri Leone. Great. She says, he says, congratulations, mommy. May God increase and strengthen you for his good works and preserve your marriage. More grace and love. You are a blessing to us all. Mm. May the Lord bless you and keep you for many years to come. Wow. Happy anniversary. Wow. Thank wow. you, Emmanuel. We won't be able to read all the messages, yeah. but everyone that sends us a message, we say thank you and God bless you. Yes, on Facebook, um, Josephine Hagan says, congratulations, mommy and daddy, we love you. Emmanuel Rapque says, happy anniversary to you, mommy and daddy. You've been great inspirations for me and precious, my wife. Thank you for being a great example for us to follow. May the good Lord continue to bless your marriage and home. Amen. We love you. And this is from the U.S. This is from the U.S., Emmanuel Rapque. Our best man. Reverend Johnny. Hey, yeah. the uncle himself. He says, you have come this far by grace. Wow. In hard work and wow. intentional effort mm. to remain blessed mm. and successful. Wow. Thank you, Reverend Johnny. God wow. bless you. Wow, wow, wow. Coming from the uncle, the <laughs> apostle in charge of Tema Central and the area, God bless you for your message. We have from a lot here. Let me go ahead. Um, from Reverend David Alex Saki. A senior pastor from South London Mission, UK. Um, UK. He says, happy anniversary to you, mommy and daddy, on this milestone. Your example is a guide and inspiration to us. May Jehovah continue to be with you on this journey. More grace, favor, and blessing to you. Wow. Much love from us all. Awesome. Thank you, awesome. Reverend Alex, South London. Ghana's ambassador to Sweden. Yeah. Uh, Wow. Her Excellency uh, Sylvia Arno, thank you very much. She wrote and said, um, a happy 37th wedding anniversary to you and uh, your lovely, adorable Mama Rita. Wow. 
May the good Lord continue to light your path with uncommon blessings, mm -hmm. even as we all try to emulate your shining wow. example. Wow. We, wow. We, we thank God that we have been able to make impact mm. on all of you, our sons mm. and our daughters. This is awesome. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me, this is the easiest job you can get to do on the surface of the earth. Because mommy and daddy are doing the job with me, and I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a lot of messages yeah, coming in. Mommy, this one is coming from, um, says, happy anniversary to A.G., the elegant young man. Hey! <laughs> hey! And the ever beautiful looking young lady, Mama Rita. I receive it. And continues and says, I really admire you both. Amen. I pray the Lord continue to keep you for us Amen. and make you a blessing to this generation and those after us. A loyal viewer and an online member of Royal House Chapel since wow. 2017. Wow. wow. Awesome, awesome. Wow. Please, we would love you to add your names and locations so we can place the messages to where it's coming from. Thank you so much. We'll take another one says, Happy anniversary, mm. mommy and daddy. Mm. Even one year in marriage for me hasn't been easy. <laughs> <laughs> and 37 good years, the good has about seven O's. <laughs> Says this can only be God. We tap into these blessings. They are tapping and I tap as well. From um, <laughs> Reverend Patrick, a hey, Reverend Peter, a Messi Takradi, Takradi Assembly yes. says, "How far has marriage? As far as marriage is concerned, mm. we have no better example to look up to wow. than you and Daddy. Wow. We are just thankful to God for your lives." And we pray for many more fulfilling anniversaries mm. Mm. and God's blessings. God's Happy blessing. anniversary. Happy Amen. anniversary. Reverend Happy anniversary. Peter Amesi, God, God bless you. Mm. Wow. We also have from Belgium. From Belgium. Wow. Yes. Reverend Ernest and Mama Beatrice, mm. on behalf of the entire Belgium church, says Happy wedding anniversary to a beautiful kingdom couple. You are both so special and much loved and appreciated. A true match made in heaven for the master's use. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy, for all you do for Royal House Chapel and for the kingdom of God. May heaven reward you both eternally. We wish you both greater joy, greater intimacy, enviable companionship, and an unending friendship and happiness. Says happy, happy anniversary. Wow. Hey. Wow. Um, Ghana's ambassador Reminous. to Denmark and Sweden has sent another one. Wow. <laughs> I think after... Hi, Mama <laughs> Sylvia, how are you? Thank you very much. God richly bless you. We, so, add, add the one that she... Says, I would like to use this channel of communication mm. to wish my spiritual parents Great. a happy 37th wedding anniversary. May the God that has brought you this, this far continue to bless you. You are really the beacon of hope for many marriages. We love you dearly. Ambassador Sylvia Anno, Ghana's ambassador to Denmark and Sweden. Wow. Love you, the Anno family. Hallelujah. Awesome. We love you, we love you, we love you. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Keep the messages coming. Uh, 5253. Ladies and gentlemen, on your screens, you will see pictures. It all began. Oh, wow. This is the, I, I'm being careful where I'm sitting to, this, to use the West Norma Rita use, but <laughs> he, she gave a description of the man he married in 1986. You can see it on the screen oh, by wow. yourself. Wow. I love the Afro. I like the Afro. <laughs> and you can see the Apostle General then. Uh, was this Brother Ankara then? Yes, so yes, Brother Ankara. Yes, yes, yes. He wasn't Apostle General uh, then. <laughs> looking very innocent. Yeah, you can see the flower girls. Wow. Hey, awesome. Chief awesome. Affairs, that me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so we see the young family. All right, all right. We'll, we'll be giving you a lot of shots through the ages. We are going to give you a time lapse of how this journey has moved and how the Lord has brought them this far. Mommy, I want to come back to you. We'll go back to the messages. There are thousands, thousands wow. of them coming through wow. across all our platforms and our telephone <coughs> lines are also buzzing already, but we are going to open them for you probably in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes. You spoke about love. Um, yes, you heard from God. Um, you made mention of challenging times at a point. 
we all appreciate how busy your shadows are from the very early stages even till now we know how complex sometimes the movements have been for a young pastor's wife who sent this message wants me to ask you did you at points feel love has been squeezed compared to how you probably felt from the beginning or how you expected it to degenerate did you at any point feel squeezed because of the busy schedules the weight of work combining uh, ministry children um, daddy also traveling with several appointments both local international did you feel squeezed surprising enough you know i got born again through him okay and after becoming born again through him, I became a disciple. Yeah, that's a Zico oh, oh. experience. Oh, the Zico experience. <laughs> I became a disciple. I started following him everywhere mm. he was going to minister. I was um, Volta region, Peje, mm. Akome. We went to Kumasi Crusade. I mean, we really went around the okay. Lord. So I saw what his ministry was like. Okay. You know, Right from the beginning, even before he came proposing, oh, okay. um, I saw him as a man of God. Because number one, I became born again through him. Number two, I followed him everywhere he went to. Number three, right from Zion Secondary School, he invited us, those of us who became born again in Zion Secondary School, that if we lived in Accra and we didn't belong to any charismatic or Pentecostal church, mm. they used to have this holiday fellowship in Accra High School, so okay. we could come. So right from there, I had seen his role, um, I would say as a man of God, as a brother of God in okay. those days. <laughs> so I had tasted a bit of it. So some way, somehow, <coughs> when he came proposing, emotionally I was already ready. Okay. Because I had, okay. I had followed him around, and I saw how everybody wanted his attention, how people would queue, looking for how long was this period i think this was i met him 81 okay and we got married in 86 so that's about five years that is about five so years so you 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 had taken time to understand the i had man taken time to understand to the you. man know his calling understand his calling know where he was going and you to. had anticipation of how his journey was probably going to look like okay. and known that he was a people's person the mm. crowd followed him i mean okay. i saw all that before i said i do so i think that before i said i do god had psychologically and emotionally prepared me for the assignment okay. i had so a lot of um young pastors wives get very um um what English word should I use? Wagged out? Get, get overwhelmed. Okay. Get overwhelmed by their role as pastor's wives. But mm. I think that because before the marriage, I had tasted a bit of um, what it is like to follow him, okay. I embraced it. And I knew that he was going to be everybody's husband. Okay. Once he's everybody's pastor, mm. he's everybody's husband. Mm. Everybody wanted his attention. Everybody wanted counseling. Everybody wanted a bit of him. So, wow. honestly, I, I shared him with everyone. I became a part of his ministry. My only challenge was okay. when we started proper ministry, church, yeah. and we used to close very late. You know, sometimes right from work, I would come to church, Tuesday service. And I'll be in my bank uniform in those days. And after church i expected that we should go home because mm. in those days we had just one car okay and then after service you won't believe it reverend chief Ape, <laughs> there'll be a long queue waiting to see him waiting to see him for counseling like more sense oh it was serious <laughs> it was serious it was serious wow and sometimes i'll be at church till about 11 12 midnight wow. so i remember at one point i complained that ah, you know we have um, just one car. Why don't you shift some of the counseling to the following day in the morning? So you can close early. So now. I can close yeah. early, go home, have some sleep, and wake up. For the next Because in work. those days, I used to wake up very early to go to work. But at a second thought, I said, you know what? Why don't I become part of what he's doing? Okay. Instead of complaining, instead of nagging. So what I did was, 
after service, I would also pull a chair mm. and sit down. So we did a counseling together. Mm. At one point, we divided ourselves. He took care of some, and then I also took care of some. Wow. So that's how come my counseling abilities and, and you know and, and started. started okay. And as we did it together, if there were 20 people, maybe he would take up 15, I'll take up five. Okay. We ended up finishing early. Wow. Um, little did I know that as a result of doing that, I was going to be a counselor myself. Wow. Now, people don't see him, people see, see me. You. And it's a work I enjoy so much. Mm. And I believe that my desire for counseling and all that yeah, started okay. from when we started the church. Mm. I was working in the bank, evening service. I would take a chair, also sit down, be part of the counseling. And it got very easy for me. So to young pastor's wives yeah. out there, I believe that instead of nagging, instead of complaining, instead of feeling that um, you are not enjoying much of his love, get involved. Also get married to the job. I believe that if you get married to the job, you become a part of the job. You also start the counseling, you also start praying for people, attending to people. In no time, you get so, you, I mean, you fall in love with the, with the work. That, that's the word, you fall in love with the work, that you don't actually see the challenges of the ministry. So maybe start like I did, get involved um, with the counseling, with the women's organization. Um, what people don't know is that I started from the scratch. Okay. I didn't get up to become Mama Rita. Mm. I started mm. with the Sunday school department, okay. teaching the school. I was the first Sunday school teacher. Wow. I was the first usher. Um, got other ushers to mm. join me. People came to church and they didn't even know who the pastor's wife wow. was because I wore the same uniform. We were with hands the down. Hands down. Working with everyone. Working with back. everyone. Wow. So I ushered from the back. I never sat in front. So you didn't have a dedicated mama's chair? No, 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 no. I didn't have a mama's <laughs> chair. I didn't have a mama's bag. I didn't have anybody holding there was my no bag. There. No, no, no. There was no amobera there. I didn't wear a mm. hat so in those days. So you worked your way I to the top. I worked my way to the wow. top. And wow. then along the line, church leadership um, saw a fit to make me a deacon. Mm. So I became a deacon. People don't know I've been a deacon wow. before. I also served communion. From becoming a deacon, I was made a, hmm. a pastor. From being a pastor, I was made a reverend. reverend. Um, now, pastor's wife, young pastor's wife start, and they want people to mama them. They want people <laughs> to serve them water. They want people to hold their bags. They want to wow. be served. No, it doesn't start like that. Wow. I started as an wow. ordinary church member, wow. just following. I mean, following him. And today, and then today, this is the story. My darling, if you see people murmuring me, I didn't start being mammed <laughs> at uh, celebrating 37 no, years. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You paid so the price paid to the get price. the prize. Yeah. You paid the price to get the prize. Yeah. We have a lot of questions. We'll be wow. coming back to you. Let's read some of the celebrations that are coming in. Mm. This is from Benes Akosia Kata. <coughs> I believe it's Reverend Benes Kata. Mm. It says, congratulations, mommy and daddy. Mm. We pray for yeah. more blissful Let's years. pick the, get some portions. Mommy yes, read all. Yes, please. And this is from uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Toklo of Chiripone. Northeast region wow. says glorious 37th marriage anniversary. Mm. We look forward to meeting you face to face one day. Yeah. Definitely, you'll be meeting them. Yes, Daddy. Dr. Bentel, my son in London, Grace Chapel International. Thank you, thank you so much. He says we are grateful for God for making you an example to all of us that marriage is a blessing. Mm. Thank mm. you. Mm. Marriage indeed mm. is a blessing. Marriage and may yours blessing. prosper Amen. wherever you are. Amen. 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 Marriage is indeed a blessing. blessing. This one is coming from Samuel Deji. It says, happy anniversary, mom and dad. We tap into this anointing from Cape Coast. Mm. And then another one says, um, from Reverend Isaac in Sefi. says, this is my first time watching this show. Wow. And where have I, you been? Where have you been? <laughs> and it says, I am 100% heartbroken that this is the first time I'm actually hearing such sweet advices wow. from a father figure. I'm in a relationship with this lady. I've gone to see the parents, and also my parents have seen her. Um, okay, I think this comes with some questions, but 
I believe what we are celebrating today is going to reach out to you. But Amen. thank you for joining us. Um, follow us every Wednesday. We are live every Wednesday. And there is a rerun on Saturdays at 6 p.m. on Powerline TV, your digital channel. Uh, we are live on Facebook, Sam Crunchy, Ankara. We are also live on Facebook, Mama Rita K. And we are live on YouTube, Powerline TV. So whenever you log on, please click on the subscribe button and also click on the sign that looks like a bell. That's the notification button. Anytime we are live, you are going to receive a notification on your phone or your device to immediately connect, hear all the advices. You can go back into time and watch all the mighty and wonderful sessions and episodes we have here on Powerline TV Family Life Series. Uh, Reverend Chief, I, yes, I want Mommy. to let him know that the question you are asking today will certainly be answered. So watch out your question, whatever be your concerns, we will answer them in due course. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We have some more messages coming through. Um, this is coming from Faustina up north, Tamale, says, happy marriage to my favorite in ministry. Wow. I really admire you from afar. Wow. Listen, you are far, but you are so close. <laughs> you are so close. You are so close. <laughs> and um, we also have Prissy MFA says, I love you so much, mommy and daddy. Thank you for being an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Na Komle says, happy wedding anniversary, mommy. Yeah. Much love. Lisa Metland. Shalom and God bless daddy and mommy. Happy 37th anniversary. Amen. You are truly gems. I bless God for your lives, for being a blessing. Um, we will be going to receive a special phone call um, right now. And um, whilst we get that connection, we also have a message from Sefa called Rejoice. Chewu says, Mommy, thank you so much for tonight's education. Amen. Some of our pastor's wives behave like you are carrying their husbands away. <laughs> when you approach them with important issues, they just, the look can even push you away. I believe they are listening. Sefako, I can see you even becoming a pastor's wife soon. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. <laughs> wow. Well, we have some messages um, on our social media platforms. Um, on Instagram says, Shalom, God bless you. I think I've read uh, from Lisa already. Uh, Na Komle says, Happy anniversary. Well, I think these ones have touched on them. Mommy, um, I want to come to you once again. At some point, you took the decision, um, like you said, to be a partner of the ministry. Um, how long did it take you to take that decision? How easy for you, was it for you to take that decision? Oh, what like, comfort did you have going into that? Like I said, because I have followed him even before um, he proposed to me. I mean, I followed him genuinely. Mm. Like Peter, James, and John followed Jesus Christ. I mean, I followed him with all my heart. All I wanted was um, to love Jesus, to work for him. I wanted to change the world around me, you know, and all that. So mm. I followed him. So right from day one, I mean, after I said yes to God, I started following him. So I started following him before I, I entered his bedroom. <laughs> so there was, like I said, there was no point in my life mm. where I would say at this point, you know, I became more committed than the other. Um, and before, before we got married, we had this... Um, fellowship students group okay. called um, Showers, of, Showers blessings. of Blessing Evangelistic Ministry where we were going around schools and villages and all that doing um, the work of God, you know, giving them Christ and introducing Christ to them. Mm. So because, like I said, I had already started doing that. Yeah. Now when we started church proper, you know, when... Um, showers of blessing now metamorphosed into, into IBWC, IBWC then. and then um, Royal, Royal House Chapel. Chapel. It, it was very easy for me okay. to, you know, at a point, well, once you become a mother, it, it gets a bit, you know, mm. combining motherhood, um, being a wife, um, being a pastor's mm. wife, sometimes it gets, but 
surprise and I got my feet. So, so mommy, if mm. I get you, basically you are saying spouses should get involved in the works and interests of the other. Once you get involved, mm. you are interested. Mm. And I think it all starts from your relationship with God. Okay. okay. And your relationship with Christ. Immediately I, I became born again. Honestly, I felt so much in love with Jesus. Mm. I fell in love with Jesus. Mm. Anything that had to do with God and anything that had to do with serving God and doing something for Christ came very, very easy for me. All I said was the cross before me, the world behind me. Mm. Um, so once we started church, it was like just moving on from when I became born again. It was moving on from falling in love with Jesus. It was moving on from uh, you know, working for God and then working for Jesus. Okay. So, you know, once you have that relationship with God, it's very easy when you get married and you become a pastor's wife and blah, 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 blah. I mean, I think it moves on from okay. one stage to, to the, the other. other, yes. Wow. So it's not like you get up one day, you're a pastor's wife. Mm. Honestly, becoming a pastor's wife wasn't a different role to me, from all that you had already been doing, from all the other jobs okay. I was doing, like I said before, then I was already following him, yeah. moving from place to place, moving very from school involved to in school. I was activity. very, very involved Great. with ministry. Great. You know, though I wasn't called the pastor's wife, or I wasn't called the deacon, or I wasn't called the pastor. And you, I were, mean, and you were involved genuinely. I was involved not, genuinely. Not I mean, because I you wanted Jesus. to catch his attention. No, 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 no. So, I mean, <laughs> there were too many people around him to catch his attention. <laughs> and at that time, the truth was, we were not thinking about marriage in those days. Okay. We were not thinking about falling in love in those days. We were not thinking about relationship in those days. All we wanted was falling in love with Jesus and working for the Lord. Mommy, and I was minding my business. Mommy, I, I, I don't like to catch you, uh -huh. but there is a special person online for wow. you. Wow. And wow. I'm sure when you hear his voice, wow. he probably will introduce himself. Wow. This is one person that you have shared August uh, platforms with. Wow. Recently, Joy FM hosted both of you together. Ladies and wow. gentlemen, <laughs> let's receive Uncle Lebo White on the line. <laughs> Good evening, Uncle Lebo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Uncle Ebo. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Uncle Ebo. Apostle General has already received you into the studios of Power Light TV already. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they are here waiting to hear what you have for them. Apostle General, you know what I remember? Uh, um, today, as you said, we have to celebrate your anniversary. No, tell me. In your book, you remember the reading of the letters, the letters um, the two of you used to write. <laughs> <laughs> the love letters. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, that, that, that was something else. And, um, your, your relationship is beautiful. It was beautiful from the beginning. Thank you. It has only gotten richer with time. Oh, I still remember that uh, the last time someone written Amen. on this day, I wish you happy, happy anniversary. Amen. Um, thank you that your marriage, your marriage has transcended that the relationship. Amen. It goes beyond the ministry. Mm. It honors God, mm. and um, it is an inspiration to all of us. It is an example to this generation and many generations yet to come. Amen. And um, God bless you and sustain you. My prayer is that. The Lord God will continue to renew His anointing upon you. Amen. He will continue to protect this, this union. Amen. And let this union continue to win victories for A the kingdom. Amen. And continue to take territory for Amen. the kingdom. And may the Lord watch over your health. Amen. The two of you. Amen. Oh, and uh, according to dinner, may action never be lacking. <laughs> Don't go and look for trouble from you. <laughs> yes, sir. I hear you, sir. I... Thank you, uh, so. When I count my riches, I count my relationship with you as part of my work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank Uncle Ebo and say hello and hi to um, your wife for me. Yes. 
Bless you. We love you. We love you. We Bye. love you. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Uncle Lebo White of Roverman Productions that we had on the lines. And uh, the conversation got to a point that I had to hide myself <laughs> in the train because... Uh, <laughs> Oh wow, that's 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 amazing. That's amazing. The nation celebrates the mother Amen. and the father a happy Amen. union. We have some more messages coming through. We'll come back to them, but um, we will want to take a short break, and then we'll come back into the studios. When we come back, we are going to open the phone lines. Uh, we know lots of you have um, well wishes. Um, you have congratulatory messages. You want to share your testimony. Um, we have a lot of people waiting, so we would appreciate when you dial in, you give us your name, um, your message, um, and uh, 30, 20 seconds, we we'll appreciate that, so others will get a chance to also phone in. Um, and just before we go on break, I want to remind everyone that from the 26th of September to the 1st of October, it is the mother of all conventions. Yeah. It's the Convention of Saints yeah. 20. 23 mm -hmm. and it's happening at the oil dome mm -hmm. with the apostle general hosting other gallant men of god from south africa apostle yanni inwali from ghana here we have reverend steve mensah from the charismatic evangelistic ministry and we also have bishop <coughs> alote from the united states who are going to be a blessing to the gathering of saints and people who are yearning to receive some fresh oil and fresh anointing from above don't move anywhere. If you are outside the regions, you want to log on to the same channel you are using now. But if you are within the capital, please make your way. And listen, there are lots of people from outside the capital who are moving in from United States, from UK, from South Africa, from all over Africa, who will be coming to the Oil Dome to receive across the nation. So you might also want to book some hotel around and join us as we celebrate Convention of Saints 2023. Let's take a break. We'll be back to celebrate the mother and the father. The community I grew up in impacted stubborn fearlessness in me. I grew up as an outspoken child and was often regarded as loud, naughty, arrogant, and rowdy. I was misunderstood and considered very difficult to deal with because I always stated my stance objected to opposing views and strongly defended what I believed in. This is my story. It's an autobiographical account of the life of Reverend Mrs. Rito Kranji Ankara. It takes us through an intimate journey of her life in a small fishing community Accra, Ghana to the global stage of ministry where lives are transformed through the redemptive grace of God operating through his handmaiden. Get your copies now and be inspired. Order online on iBookstore, Amazon and Barnes & Noble, royalhousechapel.org or visit any major bookstore near you. For further inquiry, contact the Royal House Chapel Office at Obechabi Lamte Interchange, Accra, or call 0302-221255. Welcome back, welcome back. This is Family Life Series special 37th wedding anniversary celebration with the Apostle General and Mama Rita in studios here with us. Uh, this is uh, something you don't get very often. So when you get it, you know nice. that it's a very special, special occasion for us to celebrate the mother and the father. Well, we have lots of messages in here. I uh, have one here. Yes, mommy, before nice. we come to you, okay. I want to remind every parent, I want to remind every parent in the capital and beyond that this Saturday, 
Mama Rita is hosting all the young ones between the ages of six years and 12 years. Listen, I don't think, underestimate them. Eight. This is a generation that is being raised. Mm -hmm. They know, they understand, they appreciate. And for them to get to that level, you need to mold their now. That was the age when I came into contact with the mother and the father, and my life has never been the same since. You want to make a way with your children, bring them to the oil dome, 9 a.m. this Saturday, 9 a.m., the 9th of September. Mama Rita and seasoned persons ready to be a blessing to them, to equip them, to set them on the right path. Today, I received a message from a young lady who has relocated to the United States with her children, and she's lamenting already that she's unable to discipline her children. They are having different mindsets. They speak a different language. The children are as young as six, seven, eight, and they've wow. been introduced to the LGBT mindset. Listen, wow. you don't want to take it for granted. Wow. Bring them, let them start right with the Lord under the feet of the mother and the father. There is hope for the future. That okay. is the theme for this year. From Jeremiah 31, verse 17. There is hope for our future. At the Oil Dome, 9th September 2023, with Mama Rita. Thank you so much. Mommy, over to you. From Mama Betty, Chum, New York, Lata, okay. um, Lata Rain Center. It says, happy, glorious anniversary to our mom and dad. Thanks, mom, for being a great example to us. Mm. God continue to bless your beautiful union. Awesome. Yes. yes. Reverend Hamon from Germany, thank you very much. Congratulations, AG and Mama Rita. Um, 37 years of marital bliss and still going on by his grace. Thank you. Thank you. There are many, 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 many. of you, our sons and our daughters. Alfred Bennett, thank you. Theodora, thank you so much. God richly bless you. We love you all. Coming from a barrister of law, Reverend Jifa says, happy, happy anniversary to my only spiritual parents. <laughs> and she says, ab initio, I love you truly. Ah, she you said what? Ab initio. Please, she, she should break she, it she's down. She's throwing Latin words at us. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Jifa, please break it down for us. <laughs> she's expressing her love. Thank you, Reverend Jifa. Latifa to Quinsta Muniru says, happy anniversary to my favorite couple. May more amazing years come for you to be a blessing. We love you so much. Mommy, we hey, have- there's somebody here. Oh, there's a call. We have a okay. special one for you. Wow. This one, ladies and gentlemen, shall we receive from Charismatic Evangelistic Ministries, Reverend Steve Mensah. Wow. wow. Reverend Steve, good evening and you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Steve. <laughs> oh, congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Of... Yes. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Oh, you guys are lovely today. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Re Re Reverend Steve, I I remember yes. at some point I've heard you share. Um, a testimony of the early days when uh, you had encountered Brother Ankara, then now Apostle General. Are you going to talk about what it is? <laughs> 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 Brother Ankara, so, so since Mama Rita has opened the curtains, <laughs> Reverend Steve, we want to hear the early stages. How was the watching experience with the Apostle General and Mommy? Oh, awesome, 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 awesome. This about like 30 years ago. Mm. Mm. Uh, I think during those days we were at, uh, it was at the Silver Cup. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that was when uh, 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 the convention, convention of faith began. Mm. Uh, I, I was almost like a regular speaker every time. Wow. And uh, we used to uh, finish the program and we did, and we talk into the night. Wow. You know, and Mama Rita uh, was an amazing woman. She would facilitate. Uh, food for us. <laughs> we were very young then. So that's a few years ago. And I said, this couple, they are the most amazing couple I ever met in my life. Wow. <laughs> this, and they are still like that till now. Wow. This wow. is a very a great example of a couple 
who have made their life mm. in the fullest Amen. and they are still together in ministry. I want to use this opportunity to congratulate them. Amen. They are amazing in their marriage, in their ministry. Amen. And myself, my wife, and the senior fraternity wish them all the best. Another 37 or so years and beyond in their marriage. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Wow. Thank Amen. you so much, Thank Reverend. You. But before you leave, um, yeah. we are hosting you, Apostle General is hosting you at the Oil Dome from the 26th of September, Convention of Saints 2023. What should viewers wow. expect, Convention of Saints oh, 2023? It will, it will be as it has always been. Amen. Amen. Convention of Saints from its inception, right down from Silver Cup. All over the place, even when we were at the, we were not even at the oil team. Yeah. As always, be an awesome program. It takes the nation by storm. Amen. We just begin a lineup, power encounter, prophetic ministrations. Uh, you know, Apostle Jerry is a very great organizer and his lovely wife. Mm. Wow. So, uh, this is to be my tenth time of ministry at the oil Wow. wow. <laughs> Uh, 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 Kitina is taking notes already because you, you've cleared the calendar by yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, my team called here and said the speakers, you know, the speakers are all the top line speakers, uh, ministers in this country. Mm, mm, they have mm. to show wow. the Bill, uh, God, the fathers uh, of the Mary, land, all the papers. Wow. So they were saying that uh, when we place one of them, they will let me apostle to the other. No, 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 Leave the Friday for Apostle Jerry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Reverend Steve. Reverend Steve, Steve thank you so much. We love you and uh, our love, love to your wife and the family. You are, yes, you yes, are, you are a good you, man. You. Convention of thank Saints, you, we, are, we can't wait to have you oh, to come and oh, open yeah, heaven for you. us. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah. Reverend Steve. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Grateful yeah. to hear your voice. Thank you. Thank you. We thank are thank you. grateful. You guys, uh, you guys are an example of what it means to be a team. Amen. Amen. Uh, a mm. team to, to, to mm. do church. Amen. 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 We really, really did that. Both Amen. of you, you're like ambidextrous. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. <laughs> That's the way. Amen. Ambidextrous. Amen. Ambidextrous. Thank Fit you. in every terrain. Thank you so much. It is Reverend Steve Mensah, you heard on the line from Charismatic Evangelistic mm -hmm. Ministries, expressing his friendship and love and attachment to the ministry, the fellowship they built over the years and continue. <laughs> he says, this is a model marriage, an ambidextrous couple. Mm -hmm. I love that word. I love that word. Mm -hmm. Mommy, you are going to read yeah, a message. Yeah, from yes. Kelvin King. Dawe, I hope I'm mentioning the name well, <laughs> D-A-W-I-E, Kelvin King Dawe. He says, happy 37th anniversary to the shining example of love and commitment, mom and dad. Your unwavering bond is a testament to the power of love, patience, understanding. And then he says, 
thank you so much for seeing me through school. Wow. I stand on mighty platforms today because of the seed you planted in me. Happy anniversary. Wow. Kelvin, thank you. Uh, but let us see you, Convention of Saints. Great. When you come, say hello to me. Mm. And let me be able to make an, a face to the name, to the name. I am reading. Yeah. Yeah. Reverend Jochum Lata Rain mm. Center, New York. Thank you very much. You are a great inspiration to our generation. You give true meaning to what God's purpose for marriage Amen. is supposed to be. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. We love all of you. Awesome. Awesome. Just like Kelvin just shared her life story in a brief mm. of how um, this couple have been a blessing to him. I know there are several others who would want to come to the oil dome and share their testimony to uplift the faith of the church, to encourage the father and the mother of the good works they are doing, and also to rejoice and to bring celebration in heaven. So you want to send us your testimonies your testimonies to be celebrated through the Convention of Saints period. Use the numbers on your screen. You can either send them by text through WhatsApp or send them by voice notes or just indicate that you have a testimony. Our officers are going to reach out to you. We'll hear what the Lord has done in your life using this beautiful union of 37 years. We have lots of other messages. Hey, from Ajewa, okay. um, Washington, Washington State. Washington State. She yeah. says, Happy 37th yeah. anniversary, Mommy and Daddy. We love you, to Anderson. We love you too much. You are simple, the best marriage example. Wow. No challenger. No challenger. I am watching life. I love that. No <laughs> challenger. From Reverend Dr. and Mrs. Arnold Abraham. Wow. I saw a picture of the two of them together, and they were look, he was looking taller in the picture. But it's because <laughs> of the angle of the picture. You, can, you can't deceive us. His message says, Happy anniversary, Mommy and Daddy. 37 years and you have truly blessed many you don't only have four children we are innumerable Amen. and we are all celebrating you Amen. today he says much love mommy this this atmosphere <clears throat> is one that we pray and we walk in you are my heroes Amen. coming from reverend dr arnold and wife in the united kingdom um, from Beatrice. Mommy, before you go, okay. we have Siegfried Amwa on the screen. Wow. Says glorious 37th anniversary to AG and Mommy. Your union has been a great blessing to us and we are benefiting. Of course, we know you are benefiting. <laughs> but we're, we, are we, can we can see it. We can see you are benefiting. Eh? You don't have to tell us. Siegfried, we <laughs> miss you. We, we miss, miss you. you. You and your wife. Thank you very much. Power line is not the same without you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, awesome, uh, awesome. Illustrious. Thank you. You've young extended young the ministry to yeah. South London wow. and the United Kingdom. Yeah. Wow. You were very effective during the recent convention. Shed Thank us. you, Siegfried. You in and the UK. all in the UK, you are, your wife, you, Pastor uh, Foster, uh, start, standing with uh, Reverend Darkit and all. Mm. Thank you so mm. much. Awesome team. Mommy, you had a message? Yes, from um, Lady Deacon Beatrice Ayuku. Happy, happy 37th wedding anniversary to you and Daddy. We thank God for how far he has brought you. You have indeed shown us the real meaning of love and marriage. We will forever be grateful. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon Beatrice Ayuku. Coming from Eunice Bio. Eunice Bio says, Happy 37th. May God continue to bless you for this wonderful couple. We are forever grateful. And um, Christo Dia Edimado, King Service Department, says, Happy anniversary, mommy and daddy. Um, on the occasion of your anniversary, we wish you a happy, glorious anniversary. Mm -hmm. And um, we tap into you. And another From the kids' service, so one of the children. Wow. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And I'm sure they are all going to be at the Oil Dome on Saturday. And, Mommy, there are lots of messages coming in admiring your dress. Wow. How beautiful and sparkling wow. it is. Wow, and wow. Compliment I, I want to say a very big thank you to one of my armor bearers, okay. um, Nixon. Wow. Nixon gave me this dress. So, Nixon, wow, wow. if you are watching, I am wearing your dress. Thank you so much for buying me this from Dubai. I'm beautiful, grateful. beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the phone lines are open. Plus 233-200-515253. Please, uh, when you get on, just mention your name and drop your message. 
and then we'll receive the next person. So when you are ready, please, we are for you. Evangelist Yawa Sage Akpene says, Happy anniversary, Mama Shilo and Papa Shilo. <laughs> says, I tap into your grace and I know it will be my portion. Um, Dion Shelley Nelson, I want to believe this is Mrs. McPatrick, says, Happy anniversary to the greatest couple I have ever encountered. Thank you for being a blessing to my family and our generation. Mommy, you have the message? Yeah, Martina from Tema East, East Assembly. Yeah. Um, the pastor's wife, she says, 37 years of solid partnership and impact. You are our icon. You both have well exemplified the legacy of good spiritual parents. We are proud of you. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Keep them coming through. Plus two three three two zero zero five one five two five three, or across various uh, media platforms. We are live on Facebook, Sam Crunchy Ankara. Live on Facebook, Mama Rita K. Also on Instagram, Mama Rita K. And then on YouTube, um, Powerline TV. Please subscribe so you continue to follow us with all the <coughs> notifications that will come your way. We are also on your favorite digital channel, Powerline TV. This is coming from Kumase Steven Owusu Nyantechi. Says, happy anniversary, mommy and daddy. Mm. God's blessing and favor upon you. I admire your passion and love for the kingdom, and you are an example to emulate. You take the touch of ministry and leading the generation so beautifully. We cannot wait to meet you in person. We have another caller. We have actually we have our first um, uh, call coming through after Uncle Lebo and Reverend Steve, Apostle Benjamin. Hello, Apostle Benjamin. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Where are you calling from and your message to Daddy and Mommy? Please, I'm calling from Tetegu in Accra. Tetegu, okay, Tetegu. Great. I want to say a happy thirty seventh anniversary to Daddy and Mommy. I've been to my prayer house several times and I admire them so much. <laughs> uh, when uh, Pastor Kuhi came to Ghana, I came to the auditorium, the way Paul was raised in four and I even took pictures with her. I love that so much. Wow. <laughs> Mostly and that the God received his blessing for the good way I do not pray about it. Amen. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, Apostle. <laughs> Thank you for calling it. That's a lovely message. Thank you. We have another message here. We say it's glorious marriage anniversary, AG, and my special mommy wishing you grace. My family and I are regular viewers of all your programs. My children admire you a lot and yearn to see you one day. Please bring them this Saturday, and I'm sure they are going to hug mommy and take pictures with her. Don't, don't take it for granted. So bring your children. Let them come and encounter mommy at the oil dome and he says he really looks up to you that's my four-year-old son Aaron. wow Aaron looks up to the apostle general Amen. he always imitates your preaching <laughs> in the house wow <laughs> that's lovely wow. that's lovely from felix italy he says happy 37th marriage anniversary to you daddy and mommy your union is indeed a model to be taught at our institutions, wow, mm. you are an mm. embodiment of God's blessings. Thanks for paving the way for us all. We love you. Congratulations. Thank you, Felix. Thank you. Thank you for hosting us um, in Italy. Mm. We were really, really blessed by, you know, um, your care and your love to us. God bless you. We love you, Felix. And say hi to your wife for us. Also. We have um, from Medina, from Medina. Hello, your name and your message. This is Kafui from Medina. Hello, Kafui. Daddy and mommy are listening. Your message to them. Okay. Hello, mommy and daddy. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary to you. Thank no, no, you. The, the birthday is even yeah. right. It's the day that the marriage was born. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Kafui. <laughs> We love you so much. <laughs> we are not the worshiper of your, 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 your church, your assembly, but we love watching you. Wow. Amen. 
Amen. And you are really a role model. Amen. You also look up to you in our marriages. Amen. When I watch your TV, everything is so beautiful. Mm. Amen. <laughs> Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Awesome. Thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we have another special call on the line. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, her voice will introduce her. Hello, you're welcome, Mommy. Hello, good evening, Mommy. Okay. I think we will try and reconnect to Mommy and I would want to come to you, Mama Rita, once again. Um, since we are going to have the children's celebration um, at the Oil Dome this Saturday, how was the decision to discipline your children in raising them up like? This is another question that came in. Uh, because from your books, um, this is my story that we have read, um, we see a picture of you growing up in an affluent, elite family. And Daddy, in his book, The Rising of the Sun, also comes from a very polygamous, low-leveled family. And um, in some of his testimonies, he shared how uh, there was abuse in the home, um, the level of corporal punishment that came with raising them. Um, so, two extremes. And you having four children, who, or five, yes, five, how has raising them in? Was there disagreement between how to discipline them in case? But, Mommy, sorry before we come to this question. Let's receive Mommy. Hello. Good evening, Mommy. Good evening. Mama Christy, ah. we are blessed to hear your voice. Hey. <laughs> the bulldozer. The bulldozer. That's <laughs> my mom. That's what, my mom. What From. a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. From Solid Rock, please, mommy and daddy are here. Yes, Happy mommy. Happy anniversary to the new one and now I'm a leader. Thank you. Amazing couple. Amen. Amazing couple you are so example of what Christian model family should be. Mm. I wish you the best of this person. Thank you. And Amen. 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 Our generation for good. Amen. I will see you in a short while. Amen. Yeah. We can't wait to have we you We can't wait convention. to have you. I'm at the airport coming home. Wow, Amen. wow, safe travels, safe travels. Thank we, you. God bless you, we love Thank you, Thank you, my mom. <laughs> Thank you, Mama Rina. <laughs> <laughs> we love, love you, you, love you, love you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the voice of Mama Christy Do Tete of Solid Rock Chapel, the bulldozer. <laughs> the, the story of charismatism in Ghana can never be complete without mentioning her inputs. Yeah. And it will always mm. be there a legacy to celebrate. And Mama Rita always calls her a mother because that's what she truly has been. And she has called to express that love to our mother. So, Mommy, to the question of disciplining and nurturing your children, were there disagreements? I always tell the parents, especially the young parents, um, it's very, very important that in training up your, of your children, you must have one voice and one mind. Mm. You must take decisions together when it comes to the children. Okay. Um, I think what really, really helped Apostle General and I, and for the way our children have turned up, okay. is, is the way we had one voice, one mind, one purpose mm. when it came to our children. Okay. If they had to be disciplined, it was an agreement. We knew that both of them how to be disciplined. Apostle General will not say this, and then I'll go behind him okay. and say to the children, don't mind your dad. Mm, mm, or mm, mm. I won't support them against their okay. father. Okay. You know, I never did that. So in the, in the training up of our children, in their education, in their career, in what they must do, you know, we made sure that mm. we had one voice. Once wow. daddy says no, I, always, I also said no. 
Wow. If I said you can't go to this party, daddy will also say you can't go to this party. I always use um, Deacon Adrum, okay. who is now married with a child, with a child. now. <laughs> you know, uh, she used to play in between us. Okay. We'll go to daddy, daddy will say yes. And then come to me if I say no. Oh, but daddy is older than you. <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy said he, he, yes. He's using her bargaining chips and negotiation. <laughs> so now, when I say no, mm. and he goes to daddy, daddy will ask, but what did mommy say? Oh. If mommy says no, then, then that he says no. <clears throat> if she comes to me, and I say, what did daddy say? If daddy said no, then he said no. <laughs> I mean, we, we try as much as possible okay. to be on the same page, have the same mind, mm. same voice when it mm. came to mm. training up of the children. Mm. Today, a lot of children are wayward because mommy says this, daddy says yeah. this. Yeah. Mommy says you can have um, um, a sleepover somewhere. A sleepover somewhere. Daddy says no. And, and yet, says the no. person is sneaked out. And then <coughs> mommy sneaks the child mm. out. Uh, mommy says you can have 200 for school. Daddy says you can have 400 for school. Mm. Once the children know that between you, there's this unity, mm. there's, mm. there mm. isn't agreement, I'm telling you, they will play in between the wow. two of you. So wow. as much as you can in training up of your children, make sure that you have one voice. Your year is your year between the two of you, and your nay is your nay between the two of you. Great counsel. Mm. We have on the line from Takradi Rita. Hello, Rita. Hello. Yes, Rita, your message to mommy and daddy. They are listening. Good evening, mommy and daddy. My name is Rita from Takradi. Okay. And I've been watching daddy say, on GTV Power and Wow. I love you people and I'm so happy to talk to you this evening. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have your guy guy. In fact, any time I see you on TV, I don't know what to do to myself. May God bless you. Amen. Bless your family. I love you so much. I don't know what I feel myself when you want me. I don't know what I mean. Do. <laughs> It's, it's not a dream, it's real. You are talking to them. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I love you. I love you. God bless you. God bless Amen. you too, Rita. Amen. From Takradi, God bless you. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you, Rita. God bless you. Mommy, there is a message that has come with a threat. I don't know how to handle it. Uh, the message says, if I don't read it, I should follow you to Sakaman. I shouldn't come home. <laughs> <laughs> that should be from your wife. This is coming from her. <laughs> she says, if I don't read, I should go to wherever I can go. She says, happy anniversary to my mother and father. Amen. The greatest example and model we have. Amen. You make it so easy and beautiful for us Amen. to emulate. Amen. God bless you with many more decades of beautiful marriage. Amen. We love you. Yes, I connect my... Myself to this message, we love you. We love now you. you can go home. <laughs> no, I'll go home. I'll go home. From, from Pastor Ni Augustine Nio Pariado, okay. Milton Keynes. UK. UK. He says, Happy, happy 37th wedding anniversary, Mommy and Daddy. Amen. From the son, Pastor Ni, and Lady Abby from Milton Keynes, UK. Mm. Um, we are the descendants. Hey. Of the rabbi and the only interpreter, hey. Reverend Auntie Mercy, hey. Mommy and Daddy, your chemistry and love wow. and support for each other has built cities and destinies mm. of many great and mm. future leaders. Amen. When my wife and I grow up, we want to be just like you Hallelujah. and Daddy. Wow. We love you. God bless Amen. you. Wow. Reverend Neil Pariado, wow. thank you so God, much. God bless, God bless you. you. God bless you. May so your much. marriage be the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So much love all across the globe. Coming from Navrungo, our head pastor there, Reverend Daniel Ofori Wilson and wife, says happy anniversary, my mm. father and mother. Yeah. You are the best pastors in the world. Wow. Your heart for God is incomparable. And your passion for the people around is Jesus like. Amen. You are my pastor, and I thank God for your lives. Happy anniversary. Amen. This, from, okay, okay, go ahead, mommy. From the headmistress of um, Infantiman Girls hey. School, uh, Roseburn, Soya Madden. Who is no alien to this? Hey, seat. she's no alien. <laughs> she's always glued yeah. to her TV watching family life. She says, 
happy 37th anniversary to my dear daddy and mommy. I admire your relationship. Amen. It's always fresh love. God bless your union. Amen. I love you. Awesome. Mama Rosemond, we love you too. We thank love you, you. Mama you, Rosemond. You. Well, this is a message from Elder Asamwa and very Reverend Mrs. Asamwa from Obuase. Mm. Says, A.G. Oh, yeah. and Mama Rita, our mentors in ministry. We will also be 36 years on November 27th, 2023. Wow. 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 <laughs> but he sends a message, says, unfortunately, my wife has broken a knee, oh. and I want Mama Rita to pray for her at the end of the program. I think yeah. Mama Rita will do that yeah. uh, right um, now for the her. Name. The name is um, Elder Asama. 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 Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Obuasi. Oh, Obuasi. Yes. Obuasi. Uh, yes. Reverend Asamoah, Mrs. Asamoah, yes. I hold your knee and I pray life into your knee. In, in the, the name, name, of, name of Jesus. I pray healing into your knee. In, in the name Jesus of Jesus. Name. Into your knee. You will recover faster than you Hallelujah. think. Hallelujah. And you will recover faster than the doctors think. Mm. You will walk one more time. Mm. Everything will be all right with your health, mm. with your home, with your marriage. Mm. We wish you well. Mm. You are healed. Mm. You are well. Mm. And everybody who is sick, mm. who is watching and yes. listening to <coughs> us, anybody on the sick bed, anybody on the hospital Amen. bed, on the occasion of our 37th mm -hmm. wedding anniversary, mm. I speak life yeah. and I pray that nobody will die before their yeah. time. Mm. I pray healing mm. over your lives. Mm. Your ears will hear good news mm. concerning your health mm. in the name mm. of Jesus. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. We'll Amen. see you on the 7th of October. Yeah. We are coming to Abuasi yeah. to bury Mama Rita's father. Mm. So, mm. Uh, Apostle Bishop Asamoa, we'll see you and your wife and all the sons uh, and daughters who are in the Abuasi area. God bless you. We love you. 7th October. Amen. Awesome. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. Well, this message is coming from one of your sons. Says, happy anniversary, mommy and daddy. Mm. Your marriage is simply putri to dinos. Hey! <laughs> Ask the home. person to break it down. <laughs> if, says, if I subtract my 10 years, I have been in marriage from yours. I still have 27 years <laughs> to go. <laughs> well, we'll go straight to the lines. We have another special caller. Reverend Dr. Makwe Living Streams Ministry. Wow. Good evening, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Good Dr. Evening, sir. Makwe. Hello, Reverend Doc. How are you? Hey. We, we are fine, though. Also, mommy Sorry. and daddy can hear you. Mama, oh, mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm also general. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Imbra. Imbra. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Big, big congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. on your on your thirty seven years. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I just I just want you to know that you are you are a shining example. Amen. Amen. And and not only that you are a blessing. Amen. Amen. It's a it's a it's a power it's a power match. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, two very anointed persons mm. living under the same roof mm. with, the, with the chemistry such as you have. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> amazing. Amazing. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. Wow. Yeah, you are continue to be a light. Mm. Amen. For for generations. Yeah. Amen. And uh, thirty-seven years. Mm. I think. I think that. And uh, I'll say 37 years of hard labor for Rita. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I, 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 I want to get Rita, get Rita in the city's brain. Hey. I receive it. Please prophesy. Prophesy, my oh, brother. Lord, prophesy. May the Lord have mercy. <laughs> I receive it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. We love you. We are so love grateful. You. We love you. Our regards to 
your beautiful wife. Hey, oh. please talk, dog. <laughs> dog. Thank, Thank you. you, dog. Thank you, dog. We are so. Thank you. Thank you. Proud of you. Amen. Thank you. Be an example unto many. Amen. And we love you so much. Amen. We love you we more. We love you. Thank this you. Is, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're, we're receiving. Thank Amen. You. We're receiving. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Dr. and Mrs. Marquis, thank you. We love you. We love you. We are grateful. So the voices you heard are the voices of mm -hmm. Reverend Dr. Marquay and wife um, who living are living, living streams. streams ministries expressing their congratulations and heartfelt love to the father and mother. Um, from Ajua Donko in the Volta region of Ghana says congratulations daddy and mommy. God bless you on your 37th wedding anniversary. I'm a regular viewer and an online worshiper for the past three years. And wow. I have been recovering from depression since COVID. Oh. And your ministry has been a blessing to this recovery. Wow. I, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. That's, that's a great testimony. Wow. A great testimony. Yeah. God bless you, Adwa Donko, from the Volta region. Um, we also have from um, Ho Deme. Uh, this is uh, Reverend and Mrs. Daniel Jokpata. Ah. <laughs> says, happy anniversary, AG and mommy. And says, mawune jirami lo. Yo. Mawune jirami. Ladeku yo. <laughs> for, for our um, international viewers, says, God richly bless her. You can hear Mama Rita speaking the language <laughs> that she learned from the mother of Apostle General. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. From Gifty Takradi. Mm. All, always glued to family life. Um, she says, happy anniversary, mommy. I tap into your marital blessings. My prayer is that God will bless me with a great husband like Apostle General. May your prayer be answered. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have lots of um, comments, um, messages coming through. We are going to read a few of them before we bring the curtains down on today's special celebration episode of the 37th wedding anniversary of the Apostle General and Mama Rita, a journey and a union that started from the 6th of September, 1986. Mm -hmm. Let's take a short break and we'll be back to listen to their final concluding uh, words as we take your messages as well. trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a secret assembly. The gathering of the saints is here. Royal House Chapel invites you to Convention of Saints 2023 with your host, Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. The theme is The Coming Glory. It's happening from the Tuesday 26th September to Sunday 1st October at 6 p.m. each night. There will be two services on Sunday 1st October, morning service at 8 a.m. and communion anointing and impartation service at 5.30 p.m. Speakers, Bishop Dominic Alote, USA, Apostle Johnny Ingwale, South Africa, Reverend Steve Mensa, Ghana, and Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. The venue is the Oil Dome near Obechebilamte Interchange. 
gracing this year's convention will be Joe Metal, Pastor Edwin Dodson, Kofi Owusu-Pipra, MOG Music, and Pastor Pa Tremontin. Come along with your family and experience the coming glory. The services will be live on Facebook at Sam Crunchy Ankara, on YouTube at Powerline TV, and your favorite Christian TV channel, Powerline TV. Royal House Chapel, touching our generation with the power of God. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You heard it, the coming glory from the 26th of September to the 1st of October. The coming glory, the yeah. coming glory. Yeah. Convention of Saints 2023. You can't be anywhere else mm. but with the gathering of saints to receive from the Apostle General and the gallant fathers uh, who are ready to be a blessing to us. <coughs> Amorita, it's been an awesome celebration yeah. night. With the messages that we are receiving, wow. I'm sure we can go until wow. midnight. Amen. And the telephone lights are buzzing. Wow. Uh, but we trust that uh, people will be sending on messages and still praying for you in their closets. Um, to receive your concluding remarks, uh, what would you say to a young couple or an advanced couple how to maintain this love that you have kept for 37 years? We see it. And, and this is it. Someone told me from my office um, a few months ago that they've seen people try hard to show that they are in love mm. after many years. Mm. But for you and daddy, it comes effortlessly, which means there is no pretense. And for those of us who are privileged to come close a little to see, we know this is genuine expression of love that is worth emulating. How have you kept it alive all these years? I don't know. I think I would want our Apostle General to speak. Oh. Um, I would speak and he would also speak. Um, number one, I have always made God and Jesus the center. Mm. I always tell people, don't leave God out of the relationship. Don't leave God out of the marriage. Uh, make sure that within the marriage, if you say you are born again, be born again in your marriage. Once you decide that you want to be born again in your marriage, you want to be Christian-like in your marriage, mm. you know, it helps in solving a lot of issues. Number two, don't stop courting within the marriage. Okay, okay. Don't a stop lot, courting. A lot of people stop courting after the honeymoon. Mm. Make sure that within the marriage, you are courting each other. In other words, um, what you were doing before the marriage, mm, the going dating. out, um, the dating, um, um, spending meals together, mm. praying together, um, together, loving God together, cooking together, uh, cooking together, bathing together, um, bathing together um, communications together, mm. um, going to church, church together. together. Don't stop doing it. Visiting common friends together. Visiting common friends together. Once these things continue, number one, you will never lo lose your love. Mm. You will never get tired of each other. Okay. The problem is that most couples get tired of each other. And then the last, make sure that the respect for one another is always there. Mm. And, as long mm. as there's respect for and one another. Respect and appreciation. Uh, respect for one another, appreciation, appreciation. for one another. Know that each one of you is a gift from God to each other. My husband is a gift to me. I am a gift to him. As long as you see each other as a gift, you don't take advantage of each other. Mm. So, number one, keep God. loving mm. God in the relationship. In the center. And make God the center of the relationship. Mm. Be born again in the relationship. Mm. Number two, continue dating. Um, continue dating, whatever you were doing before you got married. Mm. Continue to do it. Mm. Don't let your courtship stop after mm. um, your honeymoon. Mm. 
Number three, respect and appreciation. Respect and appreciate to one another. Mm. Mm. Know that each one of you is a gift from God wow. to each other. As long as you appreciate the gift that God has given to you, you'll be able to hold the gift. Normally when I come to church and I know that my husband has given me a gift mm. and the gift is expensive, this is um, jewelry, gold okay. jewelry, I make sure that even when I'm dancing, mm. I hold it to check whether it's still there. Or not. <laughs> when I go out, I want to hold my earring to find out if it's there. Mm. I mean, I cherish it, so yeah. I take good care of yeah. it. So yeah. as long as you appreciate each other, you cherish each other, you take good care of each other, mm. trust me, you will celebrate 37 years in marriage wow. and your marriage will be more beautiful wow. than ours is today. Wow, wow, wow. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, I, you can see that I've, I've been very, yeah. very quiet today. The weekend was quite hectic for me, so yeah. um, I'm just recovering my voice and then my chest. But uh, I like to move in another direction. There are many of you who want to succeed in marriage. Mm -hmm. There are many of you who want to be 37 and you want to be beyond. I'll mm -hmm. show you three things mm -hmm. how you can, uh, you can tap into the grace of God mm -hmm. uh, into our lives. Number one, um, connect to the grace upon mm -hmm. our lives. Mm -hmm. Connect to the grace. Mm -hmm. Connect to the grace. Number two, connect to the words. Mm -hmm. Connect to the words that we speak. Connect, connect to the words that we speak. And then number three, connect to the example that you see. Mm. Connect to the example. So number one, connect to the grace. Mm. Two, connect to the word. And then number three, connect to the example um, that you see. Uh, you, you cannot get it uh, just because you desire it, mm. uh, just because you want it, or just because you wish it. Uh, people say that if wishes were horses, yeah. uh, I guess we're well, right. <laughs> everybody <laughs> will. You know, so I am I'm taking my revelation from Jesus' discourse with the disciples. He says, if you want to see the Father, just see me. Just see me. Now, he gives reasons why he and the Father were one. He said, I and the Father, I am one. Because the words that I speak, they are not my words. I speak the words that are emanating from the Father. And then he says, no, you also see that the works that I do, I do them because of the Father that is in me, mm. and I do them to his glory. And then number three, he says, you will also notice that everything that I say, I say it to the glory of the Father. Mm -hmm. So number one, connect to the grace. Uh, we have come 37 years. Our marriage is an exemplary one. We have influenced many people and uh, many, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Connecting to the grace. Connecting to the words and the examples or deeds. Wow. You, 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 you can see that the hand of the Lord is upon this couple. Mm. Uh, our union has, has given birth to a vibrant ministry yes, with, with, with campuses and branches around the world. Mm. We have transformed lives. One of whom is sitting right and moderating yeah. today's program. Yeah. And many, yeah. many, many hundreds mm. around the nations of the world. That grace is not to be taken for granted. Mm. And so uh, here, uh, here's what I can sh show you, the practical way I can show you to tap into the grace. Every January during a uh, week of the altar, 21 days in prayer and fasting, there are scores and, and, and hundreds of sons and daughters who come from far and near to come and then renew covenant. They come and they say, Papa, the end of the year has come to an end. We have come to tap into the grace that is upon your life. We have come to tap into the covenant that is upon your life. And then I pray for them. Mama Rita and I pray for them. That must never be taken for granted. And those of you who come year after year, this is the mindset with which you must come. Yeah. When you are coming, you are coming to tap into the grace mm. that is upon, upon us. That was what Jesus Christ says. He said, the, the, the things that I do, I do so because I am in the Father and the Father is mm. in me. And remember, God said to Jesus Christ, uh, God said about Jesus Christ, this is my beloved son in whom I am well placed. As a father and as a mother, you need our recommendation. You need our blessing. You need our authentication. You need us to lay hands upon you and you need us to speak into your life. So this is one way by which you can tap. The second one is to connect to the uh, spirit. You connect to the spirit. You connect to the word. 
uh, that we speak. Now, listen to us always and make sure that if you are a true son and you are a true daughter, then listen to the things that we say. Sitting here in this one and a half hours, Mama Rita has shared with you words of wisdom. And uh, we do so Wednesday after Wednesday uh, through family life, through church meetings, and so on and so forth. For the pastors of Royal House Chapel, General Assembly, coming next week, we are taking you to Shiloh, three days, and we are going to be impacting upon you, and we are going to be speaking into your life. Why should you fail in marriage? Why should you fail in ministry? You mm. should never fail yeah. if you connect to the word of the Father. So listen to us. Jesus Christ says, the words that I speak, I do not speak of my own. I speak of the Father, which was why he was successful. Mm. When you speak the words of the Father, you become successful. The last one is connect to the example. Examples. Connect to the example. Now, uh, Apostle Paul says, uh, the things that you have seen in me do, he was telling Timothy, he said, also do same. Commit them to that faithful man who will be able to teach others also. Be ye imitators of me as I am of Christ. You love our marriage, listen to what we do and take the step that we take. You love our marriage, you love our ministry, you love our, our spirit. Oh, it is very, it is get close to us, get connected to the covenant, and then take the step that we take. Mm -hmm. When we move, move. Yes, Follow sir. our example, mm -hmm. and you'll be amazed that you are just going to be there. And then, mommy, for example, uh, you would say, oh, today I heard something from uh, uh, Apostle Jane and Mama Rita, and I think we should try it. That is the that's connecting to the example. Mm. Yeah. That you can tell your wife, oh, today I listened to Mama Rita and uh, Apostle General, and they said some wonderful things that can spice our relationship and wow. spice our marriage. Let's try it. That's connecting to the example. So the things that you have seen in me, do. Be ye imitators of me as I am of Christ. So three things. You want an anointing. You want the grace upon our lives. Connect to the spirit or connect to the grace Two, connect to the word. And then number three, connect to the example. And this was how Jesus Christ was able to please God. This was how Jesus Christ was able to represent God literally on this earth. And we saw the example and we saw that this is God manifested in Christ. If you do same, your marriage will go far. Amen. Your ministry will go far. Amen. Even if you are in personal business, your mm. personal business and entrepreneurship, mm. it will go far. Amen. If you are a career person, you will go far. Amen. This is a winning formula, mm. and you cannot fail. We Amen. pray for you. We pray for Jesus. grace. We pray for peace. We pray Jesus. for stability. We pray that you will succeed. Amen. If there is any shaking of the foundation, mm. I prophesy and I say, peace be still. In the name Amen. of Jesus. If there is a wind that is tossing your marriage mm. and your relationship to and fro yes, and the devil wants to come and capture your relationship Jesus. today i forbid the enemy Amen. and i put Amen. him away Jesus. i cut him off from harassing you and yes, i pray Lord. that the peace of god will overshadow you the Amen. grace of god will overshadow you Amen. i pray that you will succeed Amen. and i pray that a week today a month mm. today a year today mm. may you look back and say that this man apostle Jane, and this woman have been positively, have, have had positive impact upon our lives Jesus. and our ministry. God bless you. We will continue to be praying for you. Amen. And you are every day on our prayer list. Mm. And we shall be raising incense on our altar mm. for you. It is well. You it's haven't well. seen anything yet. Mm. Good days are coming Amen. and better days are coming. Mama Rita and I will love you. Love God bless you. you. We'll see you this year, Convention of Saints. Don't miss it. It's a coming home of all the sons and daughters hey. of Apostle General. And wherever you are, please come over. And those of you at Obuasi, Mama Rita and I are coming over to Seven bury our October. father. And uh, we pray that you support us. Those of you in Accra, we shall have our celebrations here in Accra. God bless you. We love you. Stay blessed and stay peaceful. Stay blessed, stay peaceful. Mm. And it's been a wonderful night of celebration yeah. of our father and our mother. And yeah. listen, they have <coughs> just connected you to that grace by prayer. Connect to the grace, connect to the words, and connect to the examples. And I believe that you have been blessed watching us here on Powerline TV. This is Family Life Series regular and consistent on your screens and on your various uh, digital platforms that you are watching us every Wednesday, 7 p.m. GMT. So you can tune in same time next week. Um, we are going to continue with the question time from the WMG camp where we had Dr. Seth Asafo with Mama Rita. All your questions that you had, 
The doctor is going to be in studios live with Mama Rita to answer every single one of them. So please make a date with us, same day, same time, on this same channel. God richly bless you. And Mommy and Daddy, happy anniversary once again. Thank you, and you also did so well. You, you took up my position hey, so well. I, I, am, I am connecting to the example. You are connecting, connecting to, the to the example. example. <laughs> I like that. But please make a date with us from the 26th of September yeah. through the 1st of October, Convention of Saints. It's homecoming for all royals and everybody no, connected. And, and daughters of Royal House Chapel and everybody connected to Royal House Chapel, whether you are connected through phone, you are connected through live stream, whatever you are commit, uh, connected, connected to. Uh, please make your way to the Oil Dome from the 26th of September to the 1st of October is the coming glory. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll see you again same time next week. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a secret assembly. The gathering of the saints is here. Royal House Chapel invites you to Convention of Saints 2023 with your host, Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. The theme is The Coming Glory. It's happening from the Tuesday 26th September to Sunday 1st October at 6 p.m. each night. There will be two services on Sunday 1st October, morning service at 8 a.m. and communion anointing and impartation service at 5.30 p.m. Speakers, Bishop Dominic Alote, USA, Apostle Johnny Ingwale, South Africa, Reverend Steve Mensa, Ghana, and Apostle General Sam Crunchy Ankara. The venue is the Oil Dome near Obechebilamte Interchange. Gracing this year's convention will be Joe Metal, Pastor Edwin Dodson, Kofi Owusu-Pipra, MOG Music, and Pastor Pa Tremontin. Come along with your family and experience the coming glory. The services will be live on Facebook at Sam Crunchy Ankara, on YouTube at Powerline TV, and your favorite Christian TV channel, Powerline TV. Royal House Chapel, touching our generation with the power of God.